The next menu I want to go through is, I think, probably the best menu in the whole group. And it's, uh, it's the last one in the list. Um, the initial setting is on the Move Graphics view. But there are a lot of cool things down this list. And why I jump all the way to the end is because you got to have this one going real early for uh, you to feel good in GeoGebra. So um, if you just have the Move Graphics view, you can just click anywhere and kind of grab the entire view and create uh, a, an expansive region or area. Um, the reason I'm picking it early on, I, you know you know what zoom in, zoom out is. I want to go all the way to the bottom down to delete. Um, when you pick up the trash can there, you'll notice it's selected up there. And also notice if this is open, you got some options there. You have a little uh, a little eraser that if you click on it, when you click in the open space, you see it appear. And then you can kind of like just start knocking stuff off with your tiny eraser. Now that's going too slow. You can go up and grab the big boy and click and uh, and you can just like clear house real quick by by knocking things out. Just dragging and knocking things out. So that's a very powerful thing. Now, maybe I should also say, remember that these two little arrows up here are for do and undo, redo and undo. And so those are always options, too, if errors are made. But let's go back. Uh, what else do we got? We got hide show, uh, hide show labels, hide show objects. That's cool. So I'm actually going to do a little undo here to bring some of this stuff back, just because then I can you know, do, do some things with you. Um, let's show you first uh, hide and show. And when the hide show, that's the solid and the empty, meaning it's either visible or not, is present, anything you click on will be selected or deselected to be hidden. So if I wanted to hide the point mic, I click on it and it kind of shows it highlighted. Let's say I want to hide this long segment as well. So I click on it. Notice it's a little thicker. Let's also hide um, all of the triangle down here. Um, so I'll click on a bunch of its pieces. Um, I'll, I'll do the segments as well as the interior. Once everything's selected that I want, if I click on any other tool now, it will throw it to the hidden. And so I'll click on that, and there they're all gone. Now they're not gone as in deleted gone. They're all still there holding the diagram together but they may not be essential things to view. If you want them back, what do you do? You go click on that button again, and there they are, and they're selected. So if you wanted them back, you could un, you know, basically unselect them. And, uh, and I did the, uh, the uh, triangle, and there it is right back where it started. So uh, a very important thing, and you can do the same thing about labels and so on, hiding and showing labels. The other one I like quite a bit is called Copy Visual Style. Now what I like about it is if there is something you want and you want to repeat it many times instead of going in and changing every preference. Let's say I wanted all of my points to be like L here. I want them all to be orange with a label. Now by clicking on it first, it copied that. And now if I go hit C, bam, it's gone N. Take a look here. Oop, N, B, A. Look at me rolling around here, getting them all. Now maybe I like G's blue style. Actually, before I do that, let's make G kind of special. So let's go over to G. Let's make it uh, really big, and let's make it an X instead. Look at G now. I want everything like that. So I go pick up that copy style. I click on it first, and before you know it, everybody's doing the same thing. Very cool menu items. Uh, lots of things down there that you need to know to, to succeed at GeoGebra. Great stuff.